हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ अवर चैप्टर ट्वेल्व सम नेचुरल फिनोमिन अर्थक्वेक्स यू जस्ट लर्न अबाउट थंडर स्टॉम एंड लाइटनिंग दीज नेचुरल फिनोमिन कैन कॉज लार्ज स्केल डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ एंड प्रॉपर्टी फॉर्चुनेटली दिस फिनोमिन कैन बी प्रिडिक्टेड टू सम एक्सटेंट The weather department can warn about a thunderstorm developing in some area. If a thunderstorm occurs, there is always a possibility of lightning and cyclones accompanying it. So we get time to take measures to protect ourselves from the damage caused by this phenomenon. There is however one natural phenomenon which are, we are not yet able to predict accurately. It is an earthquake. It it can cause damage to human life and property on a huge scale a major earthquake occurred in india on 8 october 2005 in udi and tangdar towns of north kashmir before that a major earthquake occurred on 26 january 2001 in bhuj district of gujarat activity 12.5 Ask your parents about the huge damage to life and property caused by these earthquakes. Collect a few pictures showing the damage caused by these earthquakes from newspapers and magazines of those days. Prepare a short report on the suffering of the people during the during and after the earthquakes. What is an earthquake? What happens when it occurs? What can we do to minimize its effects? These are some of the questions which we shall discuss below. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is a sudden shaking or trembling of the earth which lasts for a very short time. It is caused by a disturbance deep inside the earth's crust. Earthquakes occur all the time all over the earth. They are not even noticed. Major earthquakes are much less frequent. they can cause immense damage to buildings bridges dams and people there can be a great loss to life and property earthquakes can cause floods landslides and tsunamis a major tsunami occurred in the indian ocean on 26 december 2004 all the coastal areas around the ocean suffered huge losses activity 12.6 Take an outline map of the world. Locate the eastern coast and Andaman and Nicobar Islands in India. Mark other countries around the Indian Ocean which could have suffered damage. Collect accounts of the devastation caused by the tsunami in India from your parents or other elders in the family or in the neighborhood. What causes an earthquake? My grandmother told me that the earth is balanced on the horn of a bull and when the bull shifts it to the other horn an earthquake takes place how could it be true in ancient times people did not know the true cause of earthquakes their ideas were therefore expressed in mythical stories such as the one told by bujo's grandmother similar myths were prevalent in other parts of the world what could cause a disturbance inside the earth now we know that the tremors are caused by the disturbance deep down inside the uppermost layer of the earth called the crust the outermost layer of the earth is not in one piece it is fragmented each fragment is called a plate these plates are in continual motion when they brush past one another or a plate goes under another due to collision they cause disturbance in the earth's crust it is this disturbance that shows up as an earthquake on the surface of the earth if scientists know so much about earthquakes can they also predict when and where the next one will strike although we know for sure what causes an earthquake it is not yet possible to predict when and where the next earthquake might occur I read somewhere that underground explosions could also cause tremors. Tremors on the earth can also be caused when a volcano erupts or a meteor hits the earth or an underground nuclear explosion is carried out. 
However, most earthquakes are caused by the movement of earth plates. Since earthquakes are caused by the movement of plates, the boundaries of the plates are the weak zones where earthquakes are more likely to occur. The weak zones are also known as seismic or fault zones. In India, the areas most threatened are Kashmir, Western and Central Himalayas, the whole of Northeast, run of Kutch, Rajasthan and the Indo-Gangetic Plain. Some areas of South India also fall in the danger zone. The power of an earthquake is expressed in terms of a magnitude on a scale called the Richter scale. Really destructive earthquakes have magnitudes higher than 7 on the Richter scale. Both Bhuj and Kashmir earthquakes had magnitudes greater than 7.5. The tremors produce waves on the surface of the earth. These are called seismic waves. The waves are recorded by an instrument called the seismograph. The instrument is simply a vibrating rod or a pendulum which starts vibrating when tremors occur. A pen is attached to the vibrating system. The pen records the seismic waves on a paper which moves under it. By studying these waves, scientists can construct a complete map of the earthquake as shown in figure 12.14. They can also eliminate its power to cause destruction. Like many other scales in science, decibel is another example. Richter scale is not linear. This means that an earthquake of magnitude 6 does not have one and half times the destructive energy of an earthquake of magnitude 4. In fact, an increase of 2 in magnitude means 1000 times more destructive energy. Therefore, an earthquake of magnitude 6 has 1000 times more destructive energy than an earthquake of magnitude 4. Protection against earthquakes We know from the earlier pages that earthquakes cannot be predicted. We have also seen that they can be highly destructive. It is therefore important that we take necessary precautions to protect ourselves all the time. People living in seismic zones where the earthquakes are more likely to occur have to be specially prepared. First of all, the buildings in these zones should be so designed that they can withstand major tremors. Modern building technology can make it possible. It is advisable to make the structure simple so that it is quick safe. Consult qualified architects and structural engineers. In highly seismic areas, the use of mud or timber is better than using heavy construction materials. Keep roofs as light as possible. In case the structure falls, the damage will not be heavy. It is better if the cupboards and shelves are fixed to the walls so that they do not fall easily. Be careful where you hang wall clocks, photo frames, water heaters, etc. so that in the event of an earthquake they do not fall on people. Since some buildings may catch fire due to an earthquake, it is necessary that all buildings, especially tall buildings, have firefighting equipment in working order. The Central Building Research Institute, Rurki, has developed know-how to make quake-resistant houses. In the event that an earthquake does a strike, take the following steps to protect yourself. If you are at home, take shelter under a table and stay there till the shaking stops. Stay away from tall and heavy objects that may fall on you. If you are in bed, do not get up, protect your head with a pillow. If you are outdoors, find a clear spot away from buildings, trees and overhead power lines. Drop to the ground. If you are in a car or a bus, do not come out. Ask the driver to drive slowly to a clear spot. Do not come out till the tremors stop. This was the second part of our chapter 12, Some Natural Phenomena. 
If you have any doubt or query, you can ask me in the comment section below. Also, you can find the link of the first part and the other chapters in the description box below. Thank you everyone.